Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Heart Readings. In today's Pick a Card we'll be looking at what's blocking your path to success. In front of you there are three piles. I'd like you to pick one of them when you're ready. So for pile one we have the clear quartz. Pile two the soda light. Or pile three the fluorite. Hello Part 1 and welcome to your pick a card reading on what's blocking your path to success. For all those that choose the clear courts, let's see what you've got. You've got the wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. The unexpected. Clear Endeavour The Hangman Queen of Wands Soulmate Yes, this is your soulmate As I tune into the energies of this group, I feel like for many of you, you've kind of retreated into your own shell. This may be due to the tough times you've had to encounter. I feel like some of you have encountered those tough times single-handedly, alone. You're quite a prideful group. You don't tend to ask for help, and you don't, and you don't really confine. And you don't really confine in others. I feel for this group we have a natural ability in the gift of perception. You're good with small and large details. You're very protective over those you care for. You have a very good sense of situations and people. I feel like for some of this, some of you in this group, you've kind of forgotten your magnificent qualities. It's, it's almost like life has taken its burden on you. It feels, like, it feels like you may have just been living in survival mode rather than embracing each day as it comes. There's a need to look at how far you've come. Really be proud of your achievements. The tough times you've undergone can be put to good use. They're actual invaluable wisdom which you can share with the world. You can share with others to uplift others. I feel there's a need to take a bit of time out, to be patient with yourself, be loving and patient with yourself. Truly feel the magnificence of who you are. Truly see what your best qualities are and which areas you, you could improve on. I feel like in order to break the stagnation or the conflict you may be undergoing as to which way to go there's some need to take there's some need to take some time out and to truly introspect and connect with your higher being because once you do that there's a wealth of new opportunities and abundance for you I feel what is also blocking this group, blocking your path to success, is playing it small. Not tapping into your inner gifts, your inner abilities, your natural abilities. This group, your natural leaders, 
you're a very charismatic group and you're very driven once you have a clear goal. It's time to look at the wonders of life. Embrace each moment. Get out of the stagnation mode by focusing on what you're passionate about. I feel if you feeling a bit lost as to which way to go, what to embark on next, with maybe speak to a good friend, they might be able to shine some light on the situation. Because I feel once you're able to tap into your own greatness, tap into your own inner authority, start bringing out those natural leadership abilities, you'll be able to break old patterns. And I feel like Spirit is telling me, for those of you who aren't in relationships, there's a soulmate waiting for you at the end of your comfort zone. So time to come out of your shell, time to stop live playing it small, show the world who you truly are, connect with others, let go of pride, maybe speak to a good friend for some advice and some guidance as to which way to go. Because once you're clear about that, you have all the abilities needed. You've got all the tools needed to become a massive success in your life. But this is about following your heart. That's all I have for you, Par 1. I hope this reading helped and you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hello, Par 2, and welcome to your pick a card reading on what's blocking your path to success. For all those that chose the soda light, let's see what you've got. You've got the Bobcat Spirit, Life is a Mystery, Sovereignty, heighten your vitality, four of wands. Three of Pentacles. Stay optimistic about your love life. Okay, just put that to car so you can see them clearly. I hope that's okay. So part two, what's blocking your path to success? I feel like with this pile, you're a very stable group, very practical in your approach in life. For many of you, I do feel you have a lot of, um, you have strong earth placements in your natal chart as well as some fire elements. I feel with this group, what's blocking your path to success is keeping too comfortable, too complacent in what you're doing. Because there's such grounded group, you're quite secure in fulfilling your earthly needs, in generating income, providing a home for yourself and possibly for the loved ones you're always abiding by structures routines with safety there's a under 
pinning need to feel very secure within yourself and in the world around you, which is why you work so hard to to have strong foundations and structure in place. This is a good thing, it's not a bad thing, but I also feel it may keep you too comfortable in a way that by doing something in the same way as we've always done, it kind of leaves us a bit kind of rigid in our approach, rigid in our approach, rigid in our thinking. Because in life, there's going to be events where, sudden events where we'll be totally out of our control. Or for example, if we um, join a new company, we start a new job. To remain adaptable, to survive in those environments, there's a need to be open to change, to be a bit more flexible. I feel with this group, what's blocking your path to success is doing the same old. It may be time to break some patterns, some structures, kind of embrace the unknown, embrace newness a bit. If you, if if this is not possible in your work career, perhaps outside of your outside of that in your free time, start doing something slightly different. Because I feel like once you're tapping into your independent nature, your lust for life, your wanderlust, your curiosity, you'll start breaking some old stagnation. Because I do feel with this group with some of you, you're kind of looking for newness, you kind of look for, looking for more excitement in life. This is quite possible. Outside of work, in your free time, you could possibly embark on a creative course. Do something that will... Do something that will revitalise and awaken your soul again. To break those ways, there's a need to be a bit more fluid, a bit more free-flowing. I feel like for some of you, being near water will help you relax. Maybe being near water will help generate some new ideas and revitalise your soul, your well-being. Also, I'm being told that with something that you're doing in this group, for some of you in this group, there's a different way of doing it. Maybe it's time to explore different ways of doing something. Because I'm being told there's some untapped creativity in you which you haven't thought about in the past, which you could be, which you could put to good use. I'm also being told that this group is very creative, you're excellent manifestors. So what is what do you what are you looking for in life? What will bring you joy? Start tapping into the present. Start becoming more excited about life, optimistic about life, hopeful. Because the world's your oyster. You can create your reality. If it's fun and more excitement that you're looking for in life. More stimulating hobbies, activities. Or more creative activities. All these things are possible. It's just about allowing yourself. Freeing yourself from just one way of thinking. 
And for those who are single, I do feel by you trying new things, stepping out of the way, stepping up your comfort zone, doing things a bit differently, changing your outlook, your mindset, you'll be able to attract more love into your life. Whether that be new loving friendships or even a romantic partner. So I hope this reading helped Pile 2. If it did and you enjoyed it, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello Pile 3 and welcome to your reading on... What's blocking your path to success? For all those that chose the floor rights, let's see what you've got. You've got Crow Spirit co creates with Spirit. Darkness. Love matters. Queen of Cups. Knight of Cups. And give your relationship a chance. So right off the bat, I do feel this group, you're very compassionate, caring, kind people. You're the type of person who will always be there when someone's in need. You're quite emotionally balanced. I feel like for this group, you're connected to the water element or you may have some strong prominent water placements in your natal chart. You could be Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. I feel what's blocking your path to success is not integrating all, all of you. I do feel with this group you're quite selective as to which aspects of yourself you show to the world. Spirit is saying to overcome the blocks to your success, there's a need to integrate all of you, even your shadow, your dark aspects, the aspects which you feel may be judged by others or you may have disowned or you may have saw them as not worthy or, or unsavoury aspects. Because those qualities will ensure you integrate balance within yourself. You're always giving, it's time to put yourself first, love yourself first. Loving yourself, making time for that self-love is key, it truly does matter. It's time to work on your relationship with yourself. Feeling the completion within, feeling whole within, finding that balance within. Discovering new things about yourself. Because I feel once you overcome these blocks and be more balanced within, owning your light aspects and your shadow aspects, being more expressive to be more expressive about your needs. I feel a new love offer may come in for those who are single. For those who are already in relationships. I do feel by spending taking some time out to focus on your inner being, well being, processing your feelings and your emotions. 
asking yourself what it, it what it is that you want in a relationship and then openly speaking to your partner about your needs and wants and allowing them to also express theirs you'd be able to make it work make it a healthier relationship where it'd be more balanced so this is the time to truly explore yourself like you haven't bef- ever before who those wounds that you've neglected because you can't give them an empty cup spirit wants you to know that they're always there for you so all you need to do is just ask through prayer or in meditation for their assistance and they will give you the signs and the guidance as to how to move forward and for some of you I do feel you have bird spirit guides with you or you may be drawn to birds if you see more birds or feathers this is these are signs that your your guides are around you confirming that you're on the right path so accept yourself for who you are start integrating all of you make your feelings and emotions be known to your loved ones You don't always have to be the one who helps others. Sometimes take a step back, allow others to also help you. I feel once you've done that, things will feel more in balance, more more harmonious in your life. So that's all I have for you, Par 3. I hope this reading helped and it resonated. If it did, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Many thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.